Hey everyone, Aaron at Redbird Speed here. Today we're going to be talking about spline counts on your axles. What we're referring to here is the number of teeth on the end of the axle. So the bigger the spline, the stronger the axle. So in a Ford 9 inch, you've got a 28 spline, a 31. Uh, there are a few 33s, mostly spools. Uh, then you have 35 spline and 40 spline. So your 40 spline is going to be spool only. There are posies in 35 spline that are very popular units. Uh, 31 is very common. When you're going with an aftermarket axle, it's, you want to apply your spline count to your horsepower level, your driving style, what you're doing. And I don't like to put horsepower numbers on it because there's a lot of variables. This could, we could be talking about a street car, even a very high horsepower street car that's, you know, might be a show car, might be a turbo car, something that you're not going to be thrashing on. You're not going to be taking it out to the drag strip. On, on the opposite side, there might be somebody with a lower horsepower number, but they're launching really hard. They've got their car set up. They got a, you know, they're taken out to a prep surface. And these are all variables that come into play. So, so like I said, how the car hooks, vehicle weight, tire size, how hard you're launching, uh, does it get any wheel shape, tire hop? Uh, there's a lot of variables there. If you're running like a road course scenario where you're, you already have momentum, then you can get by with a lesser spline count, save some weight there. Uh, if you're drag racing on a prep surface, you probably want to overbuild it a little bit and have a little peace of mind that you're not going to break an axle. So in a lot of scenarios, it's almost the same price to go up to a bigger axle. So it just, it just depends on the, the main variable there is the price of the posse. So that's kind of what to look at. The axle price between like 31 and 35 is the same price. You get up into 40s or you know some specialty axles they can get a little bit more money so it just depends on the manufacturer depends on the application but definitely something to consider something to pay attention to this is gonna be one of the first things you're asked is okay what kind of car is it what are you doing with the car uh, what horsepower level so those are all things to, to be thinking about is this a street tire drag tire drag racing street use a little bit of both uh, how's the car gonna hook up what are you doing for suspension you know, how does the car launch? What are you 60 foot? And there's, there's a lot of questions there, but don't let that overwhelm you. If you have any questions about this, want to talk about your application, what you're doing, give us a call. You know, we can give you our opinion on what you're doing. You can get us at redbirdspeed.com. We're available on Facebook, Instagram. You can hit us up here on YouTube. Uh, probably best to just look us up on our website. Give us a call, 260-301-2424. Let us know if you have any questions about spline counts. All right, everyone, we appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to keep talking about axle shafts for now. Have a good one.